Hey there, welcome. My name is Marcy Bernithi and I am the author behind SaddleUpForSecondGrade.com and today we're going to be talking about all things measurement. So if you are getting ready to introduce measurement in your classroom or if you are just looking for some simple activities to reinforce it throughout the rest of the school year, then you are in the right place. So Today I'm going to be sharing three activities that you can use for a whole group lesson, for small groups, or they can even be repurposed for math stations. And they are, all of these activities use materials that you already have lying around your classroom. So the first activity that I am going to share uses pipe cleaners. We all have pipe cleaners just lying around in our craft closet, right? If not, you can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. And so what you're going to do is just take various pipe cleaners and you want to cut them into like various lengths. So it could be done in inches or centimeters, this is an activity that can also be used with non-standard measurement as well. So you just kind of want to grab a handful of pipe cleaners, cut them into different lengths, and then place them just kind of in um, a tub or a basket or something like that. Then um, you'll also need a recording sheet of some kind. So whether you use, um, a printable one for my measurement and guided math unit, or you can have students create their own in their math journal. And what I like about this is they have to practice using a ruler to draw columns in their math journal. So you can, again, you could easily change this up. You could change this to centimeters. You could have them draw four columns and they would have to estimate measure in inches, estimate and measure in centimeters. Maybe you're doing non-standard measurement with linking cubes or paper clips or mini erasers or some other type of tool in your classroom. So by doing it this way and having them create their own recording sheet in their math journal, it's very versatile. And then they also have practice measuring lines to create columns. Um, so what they'll do, it's real simple. They are just going to select a pipe cleaner from your tub or your basket or wherever you have your materials placed. And then they are going to estimate the length and they'll write um, next to number one. So they'll estimate their guess and then they'll use their ruler to actually measure the paper clip with their ruler. And so then they'll write their actual measurement under the inches column or if you're doing centimeters, which whatever you are having them do. So they'll estimate and then they will record their actual measurement. Um, what you could, something else you could also do, you could have them write a sentence, maybe like underneath, you could have them write a sentence to compare their estimate in the actual length or have them write a sentence, was their estimation right? Was it incorrect? So there's lots of different ways that you can expand this. A, another similar activity is measuring with sentence strips. And so all you're going to do is grab some sentence strips that you have lying around your classroom. And again, you're going to cut them into various lengths, just like you did with the pipe cleaners. Except this time, you're going to want to label them so depending on how many you have, you might have 10 strips, you might have five. Um, as I would recommend as long as they're shorter than 12 inches. And so you're gonna need sentence strips in various lengths and then you're also going to need some sort of recording sheet like this again. So you can either use a pre-made recording sheet like this activity is in my measurement guided math unit or you could have them do the exact same thing and create a recording sheet in their math journal either way the same this activity works just as well so again what they'll do is they'll draw a sentence strip 
and then they'll estimate how many inches long their sentence strip is and then they'll record their estimate and then they'll use their ruler to measure in either inches or centimeters or even non-standard measurement and record their length. Then again, you could always, um, once they've completed the activity, they could flip their paper over and you might say, okay, boys and girls, I want you to compare, well, my recording sheet, I have them labeled as letters. So maybe I would say, okay, boys and girls, I want you to compare sentence strip C with sentence strip E. And then on the back of their recording sheet, they have to write a sentence to compare those two links. And this next one is really fun. You're going to need um, some straws, a pom-pom ball, and then you're going to want them to each have their own ruler. And then they want to be able to complete this activity on a flat surface. So I actually kind of like to do this whole group and so I might take kids out um, into the hallway or if you have a commons area where the floor is really smooth, you can have them do this on their desk too. If it's a pretty day, take them outside to the sidewalk. And then so what you're going to do, you're going to tell your kids, okay, boys and girls, I want to see how far you can blow your pom-pom ball. And you might tell them you only get one puff, like one puff and that's it. So they're going to lay their pom-pom ball like on the flat surface and then they're going to blow it. Okay. And so then the pom-pom ball will be pushed across the flat surface. And then depending on how many puffs you allow them to have, then um, they are going to one estimate how like many inches or centimeters they think they can blow their pom-pom ball and then they are going to use their ruler to measure from where they started to where their pom-pom ball landed. And so that's why I recommend maybe using like a tile floor or even sidewalks outside because you can use the lines on the floor as a starting place. If you allow them to have more than one puff, so maybe they puff it two times or three times, then give them a different measurement tool. Maybe they're gonna use a yardstick or a meter stick Maybe you're going to give them a measuring tape. Um, you know, they can use some other type of measurement tool. It doesn't necessarily have to be a ruler. And so then they will estimate again using um, inches and centimeters. And then as always, they can write a sentence to compare their measurements. These activities along with several others can be found in my free small group math activity guide. This is for second grade teachers and inside you're going to find over 70 easy to implement activities that you can use with your students for small group lessons using materials that you already have in your classroom. So there is at least two to five activities for every single second grade standard. And there are, there's lots of measurement ideas in here as well. So there's lots of different um, ideas. Here is this, I call it puffing into measurement or blow, measure, and compare. And so there's this activity is featured in there as well, um, along with several others. If you would like to grab this free resource, again, over 70 different small group activities that you can implement using materials that you already have in your classroom, you're gonna to wanna to click on the link in the description um, and sign up and this will be sent directly to your inbox. If you have any questions or if you have another simple measurement activity that you would like to share, leave me um, a comment and I would love to hear. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions and other than that, I hope you have a blessed one. Bye.